All right, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Max Katz. I am with IBM. I'm a program director at the Developer Advocacy uh, Organization. And um, today I'm going to tell you about the developer education resources that we have uh, available uh, for you. And uh, so I'm here based in San Francisco, just quickly, and, um, and I work with a wonderful team of developer advocates. And you probably met some of them last year because they gave talks, and I think also um, some lightning talks. Now, the framework that we use um, for developer education is code, content, and community. I'm going to quickly tell you about uh, all three. So first is code, right? So that's where it all starts. Now, the approach that we take is a little bit different, and I think it's very unique, is that you know, we don't give you just a link to like GitHub and say, hey, just go and take the code to wherever you want. What we have is we have code patterns, right? And that's a solution to a particular problem. Now, a code pattern actually is a collection of resources. So what you get is, of course, you get a link to GitHub, right? You get the code so you can fork it and do whatever you want with it. Uh, but there is also an architecture diagram, like a flow diagram, so you can see how the application works. There is also a tutorial. There is also a video. And there's also a description. So all these resources give you kind of a 360 view of the application, right? And I think it's a very, very unique sort of way, but it's also a very, very nice way to get started uh, as a template, for example, um, you know, building your application. And one more thing, it's completely, you know, fully deployable. So you can take the code pattern and deploy it. And so you can see some of the examples. And we have close to 250 code patterns on anything from AI, blockchain, uh, node, serverless, uh, containers, um, and everything in between, right? Um, and here you just you can see of the, uh, a picture of the uh, architecture diagram. So you can see it has multiple components. Some of these components are open source. I'm actually going to talk about open source also uh, at the end. So next uh, is content. And these are developer education resources in the form of tutorials, blogs, uh, how-tos, uh, and also videos. Now, some of these resources, they support the code patterns. But there are also a lot of resources independent. So if you don't want to start with the code pattern, maybe something a little bit sort of, I guess I can say simpler or lightweight, you can go with the tutorial, right, and just finish something a little bit easier and faster. Now, all, all, the, all the resources are published by IBM Developer Advocates. So this is, these are very highly uh, technical, um, you know, again, tutorials, articles, and so on. And so the last is community. And I think, you know, I mentioned it last, but actually this is the most important because none of this will be successful without you, the developers, right? And what we do is that we run uh, weekly events here in San Francisco and sometimes also in the South Bay, sometimes in the East Bay, where we provide developer education. And we encourage you to come, join our meetup, you know, obviously learn, ask questions, tell us what works, what doesn't work, what's great, what sucks. Um, and so every Thursday we have a meetup here, uh, and then also we have an online meetup uh, every, every Wednesday. Now, in addition, we also work with organizations such as Women Who Code, for example. So we sponsor them. You know, we sort of want to give back to the uh, community. Uh, so, you know, if you do come to our events, you'll be able to meet IBM developer advocates, you'll be able to meet people who publish um, code patterns, and you also will be able to meet people uh, who work on the open source. And this is the last thing I want to mention before I give you the links. Is so, and not many people are aware of that, but IBM has a very rich history with open source. And in fact, a lot of the tools, services, products on the IBM cloud are actually based on open source projects. And you can see, I'm sure you're familiar with most of the names that you see. And also, we have a whole organization that's kind of under the developer advocacy umbrella that they work on open source. So they contribute to projects. They're members of different foundations. That's basically their, their job, right? So again, I, when I speak to people, again, people are just not aware, oh, we had no idea IBM was involved with open source. But actually, IBM is very, very involved uh, since the beginning uh, with open source. All right, and so this is the last uh, thing. So if you guys want to get the code patterns and uh, content, that's very developerabm.com. 
Again, I encourage you to come to our meetup, uh, join our meetup. So this is a link, just a shortcut URL. It will take you to just a uh, meetup.com page. Um, and we would love to see you there. Also, if you would like to give a talk, right, or know someone, we are always, would love to, to see you there. Uh, and if you think, we also run joint events with other companies. So if your company or someone you know would like to run a joint workshop, we would love that as well. Right. Thank you.